There are 81 reasons to fall in love with Turkey and number 16 is Bursa. <laughs> Bursa is located in northwestern Turkey and once it was the major capital of the Ottoman Empire. In Ottoman Turkish, Bursa actually means God's gift. And to me that makes total sense because there's literally nothing that you cannot find in Bursa. Mountains, forests, islands, lakes, history and of course good food. Here was the place where the major trades happened on the Silk Road. So the place where I'm right now is actually on the Bursa Kalesi, a fortress that is overlooking the city. You can go up here and watch the sunset or there are also a lot of cafes around. Jumala Kizik is probably the most historical and charming place in Bursa. It's a village where the Ottomans first settled down in the 1300s. And what's so special about this place is that the houses that you can see here, the architectural structure was remained from the Ottoman Empire. So they did not change it, they did not modernize it. And even today it's forbidden to hammer a single nail without permission because this historical village is a treasure that needs to be protected. All the houses that you can see here are made out of wood and also stones. The houses generally have three floors and are painted in beautiful bright colors. This is not a movie set. I mean, it is actually. This place was used many times in Turkish TV series and also movies. Jumala Kizik is a place that literally takes you back in time. Welcome to Francis Food Review. We all know the best Iskander can be found in Bursa, but where exactly? And look at this Döner Kebab. Merhaba. So I sacrificed myself, I tested a few Iskanders to show you where to go or where not to go. So now I'm one of the most famous kebab shops in Bursa, which is the Uluda Kebab Chusu. Bu kebab neden özel? Güzel olduğu için. Güzel yapıyoruz, ondan güzel. Tamam, teşekkürler. My friend Ejehan. Here we have the Uluda and Bursa Kebab. Bursa Kebab. It looks super delicious already. So, Afidosun. The kebab was presented thinly sliced on the plate with the hot butter on top of it. Çok acıktım. <laughs> Uluda kebab chisi, a tasty 11 out of 10. Tell us about this shop. Eski dükkan yer almaktadır. Burada gördüğünüz fotoğraflardan da en eski dükkan olduğunu. İstanbul'da Kozyatan'da bir adet şubesi mevcut. Ama tabii ki biz sizi her zaman buraya bekliyoruz. Gerçekten çok güzel anlatıyorsunuz. <laughs> My next destination was not only the most expensive Iskender in Bursa, but also the oldest and original place, the Mavi Dukan of Iskender Olu. It's so crowded. There are so many people. I don't even know how long I'm going to wait here. When I came here, there was already a line like at 2 p.m. in the middle of the day and I waited for around 30 minutes. So I'm really curious if it's worth it or not. I ordered Iskender here, one portion of Iskender and I got my Ayran. So the Iskender just arrived. There was a guy called Iskender Effendi. It was 1867 when he had the idea to roast the lamp at his father's restaurant vertically rather than horizontally. People liked it and some years later the dinner kebab was born. <laughs> so we just get the butter on top of the Iskander. Mm. It is really good. 
I've ate a lot of Iskandos in my life. It's one of my favorite dish ever. It's very good here. The Iskander was really good, but due to the high price and that I had to wait such a long time, I would give it a 9 out of 10. The last Iskander that I tried was probably the cheapest one in one of the touristic areas of Bursa. And it was good, but not as good as the others. So I give it a 7 out of 10. The Uluda is not only Turkey's favorite mountain, but also in the past, it had a big importance, especially during the Roman Empire for Christianity. Monks were settling down around the mountain that they called Olympus. Today, Uluda is a popular spot for winter sports and with an elevation of over 2500 meters, it is clear why they call it the Great Mountain. Okay, let me blow your mind because the longest cable car in the whole world is actually in Bursa and I'm right here at the Bursa Teleferik. It's a 8 kilometer long ride up to the Uluda mountain. It's 10 a.m. in the morning, pretty early, so let's check it out. Merhaba. Merhaba. Bilet ne kadar? Bir kişi misiniz? Evet. 150 TL gidiş dönüş. Kimliğiniz var mı? Var. Bakalım kimliğinize. TC kimliğiniz var mı ya da ikametin? Böyle 60 TL oluyor gidiş dönüş. Teşekkürler. Sağ Hello. Okay, it was pretty expensive, 150 liras for a round trip and with Teja card I paid 60 liras. I'm not scared of heights, but if you are, whoo, it's pretty scary. Oh my god. In winter there is a super famous ski resort. I think we should go there. It was the coldest winter day that you can imagine and it was also the day I was destined to go skiing for the first time in my life. Here I was just saying, wow, there's so much snow, I hope I don't break my legs. I'm excited. Oh my god, there's so much snow. Merhaba! I think we are going to try out how the skiing works. Uh -oh. I have absolutely no idea what we are doing. That's where you can rent everything. Wow! Okay. Yeah. The Teleferik is open all year round and actually a great idea if you want to take a break from the big city life which you can see right here. Wow. So up here there are actually lots of hiking trails and people can go camping and enjoy tea. They can go on a safari tour. The safari tour was 250 liras. I decided not to do it because I'm just on my own and yeah, uh, you know. So I'm just walking around, see what I can do and then I'll probably go back down. Having a chai on top of Mount Uluda in the middle of the forest, that's what makes me happy. Just a few kilometers out of Bursa, there is a more peaceful and quiet old Greek town called Gölyazo. It is situated on a small island surrounded by Lake Ulubad. The Uluabad Lake is a protected area and home to many storks. That's why you can find many stork nests on top of the roofs inside of the city. So there's one nest over here, one there, you can see one over there and there. So this is, I think, proof that we are in the city of the Starks. 
Busa is also known as Yeshil Busa, which means green Busa, because there are so many natural places in and around the city. And one of those are waterfalls like the Suuchtu or the Saitaba Chelale See. But Bursa is with 3 million people also one of the most crowded and vibrant cities in Turkey. The city center is charming, the bazaars offer everything you've ever dreamed of and there is something to explore around every corner. I'm now on Jumhuriya Jatisi which is like the most populous street in Bursa. It's like where all the shopping is going on, people hanging out and towards the evening it's getting pretty crowded. So let's go to Kozahan, which is one of the historical places and also it was a very important meeting point for the silk sellers and buyers in the Ottoman Empire. Here it is, the Grand Mosque of Bursa. This mosque is a multi-dome mosque. It has 20 domes, which makes it the mosque with the most domes in the world. And it's pretty big. It's called the Grand Mosque for a reason. So I want to go inside. I brought a scarf so that I can go inside. I think I'm ready now to go inside. Let's check out the mosque. Bursa is a very big city, actually the fourth biggest city in Turkey and also the center of the automotive industry and basically the birthplace of Limon. They have a Tofaş Museum here and that's exactly where we're going right now. Limon, Tofaş Museum. I'm now at the Tofaş Museum and they also have an auto park so it's perfect to come with Tofaş here. And the museum is also for free and we all love free things. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Tofas Busa Anadolu Arabalare Müzesi. Wow, this looks beautiful. So they basically showcase back in the days how they created uh, horse carriages, which was like the time before the car even got invented. So this is the grandfather of Limon. I can't believe it. Ilk Murat, Yusiemi Dirt model. The first ever produced Murat. It looks so fancy, it looks so nice to puzzle. Yeah. First Murat from 1971. Limon was born in 1989, so maybe that's not the grandfather, but Papa. Çok memnun oldum. And right next to Murat's father is the uncle. Merhaba. That's the first Murat 131 from 1977. Uh, he looks a bit different, but it's the same soul. Nice to meet you too. Oh my god, I'm meeting the whole family today. I wasn't expecting that. Ah, oh, there is the aunties. So what you can see here is a Kartal from 1983. It's quite a big model. Why? Because it has such a big bagage, a big storage room. And this is the sister of Limon. I think Murat Serge is perfect size. We have a Son Tipo, Son Uno. Electric Fiat Doblo F.
this hammam is functioning as an art gallery now and I'm curious what's inside. So this art gallery is full of artifacts and also it used to be a hammam from the 15th century. It's a very beautiful museum and it's for free. Recommend, 10 out of 10. I love art and that's why a Gan de Capuci was next on my list. It's a historical bridge that was built 600 years ago. And what's so special about this bridge, it actually looks like a street. There are so many shops, artists are selling their art and crafts, but there are only a few bridges in the whole world that actually have shops on them. So that's so special about this bridge. And it's really, really cute. They also have some cafes. Ben Almanyalıyım Almanya. ama 3 yıldan beri İstanbul'da yaşıyorum. Tamam, çok güzel. Ne <gülüyor> güzel. Evet. Burası sanat köprüsü. Hı hı. Burada bizim bütün geleneksel sanatlarımız mevcut. Çini, tesip, ebru, hat, hüsnü hat, oyma, el işlemeleri hepsi var canım burada. Çok bütün güzel. Ele bir insanlık. Kusura bakma. <gülüyor> Görüşmek üzere. <gülüyor> Welcome to Francis Food Review! So of course there's not only Iskander in Bursa but also Pideli Köfte and I'm here in the old Kaihan district in Bursa and I heard it's the best place to eat Pideli Köfte. There is a street full of restaurants selling Pideli Köfte. Merhaba! Merhaba! Nerede en iyi Pideli Köfte yiyebilirim? Evet. Nerede? Burada. Burada mı? Evet. Tamam. So apparently this is the best place to eat Pideli Köfte. Of course you have to drink Ayran when you eat anything with Köfte or Döner. So I just arrived, the Pideli Köfte. Oh my god, it looks so good. The first time in my life I'm eating Pideli Köfte in Bursa. What's this dish? It's very famous actually in Turkey and it consists of Köfte of course on top of some pita bread with yogurt and on top of that we have tomato sauce and the hot butter. The meat tastes really good combined with the yogurt. It's just perfect. Çok teşekkürler. Bu ne? Süt helvesi. Süt. Milk desip. Süt. Helvesi. Süt helvesi. Süt helvesi. Aa çok teşekkürler. So for the pideli köfte and the ayran I paid 32 liras, which is quite affordable. And cheaper than the iskender that I had yesterday. Should I go to Inigo just to eat Inigo köfte? I think so. I'm now on my way to Inigo to eat Inigo köfte. I promise this is going to be the last thing that I'm eating. <laughs> so here I am to eat Inegö Köfte. I'm at a restaurant, it's called Zeynel, it's close to the Autobahn. So super easy to reach, just the 30 minute drive from Bursa. This is going to be the last thing that I'm going to eat in Bursa. Inego meatballs were invented by a guy called Mustafa Effendi in 1893. Mm. These are some really good köfte. Turkish food never disappointed me so far. I always say it's exactly because it is chocolate to be honest. The quality of the meat is really good. Let's go to Iznik! <laughs> Hello no, from Iznik. Iznik is beautiful. Hello from my tent. Iznik is a beautiful lake, very close to Bursa. It takes one to one and a half hours to surround the lake with a car, so it's quite a big 
lake. The city of Iznik Lake is called Iznik and this is a very historical city. For example, a couple of years ago they discovered an ancient church under the water and also the city of Iznik is very historical. There is the Hagia Sophia Mosque, the Iznik Castle and of course Iznik is known for its pottery and handmade Iznik tiles. There are beautiful camping spots all around the lake. For example, I'm at La Cabana right now. And also there are cozy hotels around the lake. You know, I love sleeping in the tent. It's cozy, it's clean, it's affordable. It's just great. On my way, when I'll be coming home. That's it from Bursa. See you next time. Music of your